Hey, what's up, y'all? This is TT Loves You So Much. I mean, TT Loves You. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, like I said before, I had to get a new username because I deleted my other one. But this is TT Loves You signing in. I'm Tierra. And a lot of you, you know, you're wondering why your dog is having these habits of whining and, you know, just, just sitting there and begging for food. Well, I'm going to tell you why. My dog does the same thing, but you know what? By the end of the week, she's going to stop that. Because... Today I'm going to show you, no not show you, but tell you how to keep your dog from begging for food. Now, you know, I, I actually didn't know how to stop her. You know, I thought that, you know, if I just, if I just, um, if I just like, you know, take her or like tell her to shut up or get on somewhere sassy or, you know, because that's my dog's name is Sassy. You know, if I would tell her, like, you know, like, put her in a cage, take her outside, it really doesn't work. So, it, it, in some cases, it does work, but, you know, most times it really doesn't work. So, I'm going to tell, tell you guys today how to keep it off from stop begging. Begging is one of the most frustrating behaviors that a dog of any age can engage in. Now, this, is my, this is my professional side, because, like, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to be a therapist when I grow up. i got to talk more professional, you know. And you'll need, you'll you'll find that once the dog starts, it's almost impossible to get the dog to stop. It doesn't necessarily mean that your dog is trying to nuzzle up to you for scraps or pawing your leg for attention during meal times. Begging can simply mean that your dog is looking up at you wistfully while you eat. While this can be an affecting display, remember that you are already feeding your dog what the dog needs and that, that the behavior is unacceptable for a number of different reasons. And I'm going to tell you those reasons now. Okay, one thing to keep uh, in mind is that your dog, no matter what age the dog is, will see that your family as the dog's pet, so they feel like we're his 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 his, his uh, fault. We're his we're the dog's followers. You know, like we we're in a group and we're united. No, to make sure that your dog stays a loving, sweet-tempered pet, it is important to make the dog aware that the dog is the lowest-ranking member of the family. I know it sounds it sounds you know pretty cool. But that is because you. But it's the truth because we we don't we don't we don't we don't buy children. We don't buy newborns. We make them by having sex, and nine months later. I mean, we don't pay for them. We do pay for them by buying them things, but we don't pay for them to come out in the world. We pay for dogs. We pay for dogs. We don't have to make love for dog to, to make dogs. We don't have to make love to so we don't have to make love to buy dogs. I mean, we don't have to make love to uh to to get dogs. That's how we get human beings. But anyway, like I was saying, one way that dogs judge who is in the who is in charge of the pack, who eats first. So this is how they figure out who's the leader of the pack. The dogs. The dog, they think they think that they're, 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 that they're the leader in the pack that they think we are because you you let them eat first. That's how they that's how they figure out who is the leader of the pack, who eats first. The dog is not the leader of the pack because you can get rid of a dog. You hear that snap? Hold on. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but just like that, you can get rid of a dog just like that. Actual human beings are, are, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're more, they're more, you know, they're, they're actually human. So, you know, that's how they judge who they, that's who they figure out is the leader, is who eats first. That's a problem. That's why they feel like they can do whatever they want because you, because it's not the dog's fault. You let the dogs believe that they are, they are, they are the, they, they are, they are the. They, they're, they're the leaders, but they're not. They're not the leaders. That's, 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 that's 
a lot of humans mistakes. That's what they do. They think that they're leaders, but they're not. Sorry, I had to get my charger because my laptop was going to die. Okay. Now, when you give in to the dog's begging and pass the dog food, he the dog is essentially seeing this as a promotion, like a raise at, at, at your job. That the dog is gaining dominance over you. So if you give dog table scraps, as in stuff off of your plate, that's showing him he the dog. I mean the dog. I have a, I have a dog. My dog's a girl. It's a Jack Russell Terrier. She has like a you know a black head and a white body. You're showing that the dog is the leader. No, but it's not true. But you're letting them believe that dogs that believe that they are in are the alpha in their family can become aggressive and pick up behaviors that they did not previously have like biting or growling. This is why it is important to make sure that your children do not feed your dog table scraps or you. Yeah, yeah, I know the dogs are cute, but you gotta get over that habit. You have to get over it. Another reason to keep your dog from eating table scraps is that they are simply not good for them. Table scraps are highly, you know, they're usually high in fat and full of preservatives that, that your dogs will have trouble digesting. If you feed your dog table scrap, it's a good chance they will develop health problems and digestive issues. That means when you want to take a dog for a walk, it doesn't want to go, it sits on the couch all day. I mean, you, you can't do that. You cannot do that. You have to make sure. Dogs, I mean, you're obviously, you're wasting your money. You you might as well not even go to the grocery store if you're going to keep giving dogs food. Like, if you give it dogs one piece of, one, one bone, that's like a whole meal to them. So, you know what? Dude, and you giving them dog food after that, that's going to make them gain weight. And dogs gain weight and lose weight faster than humans do. When you notice that your dog has started begging their are a few things you can do. Um, first, the most simple thing that you can do is remove the dog from the dining area while you eat or wherever you're eating. Essentially, you are removing temptation from the dog's pass, path, and this should effectively, you know, stop the behavior. When you are doing this, you can make sure that he understands his the dog's place in the pecking order by feeding the dog after everyone else has eaten. You can put the dog back in the dining room after the dishes have been cleared, thus making sure that the dog won't get any more scraps off the floor. So, what I just said is, the dog makes sure, like I said before, dogs judge who is the leader who eats first. The dogs eat after you. That's it. The dogs eat after you, that's it. Okay? Um, if you're, um, if you're, if you put your dog, um, outside during mealtimes, try to make sure that the dog is in a place where the dog won't smell the food. Ideally, put the dog outside. Like, like, let me, let me rephrase that. Let me, let me start that, let me, forget I said that. Let me say this again. If you put the dog out of the out of the room, make sure the dog does not smell it. So, probably around meal times, it's a good thing to let the dog to go outside and sit in the sun and you know have a have a moment to itself. Cause dogs, they're pent up in the house and they they the house is their they gotta they gotta learn how to explore. Dogs have to be super excited, super excited when they get a chance to go for a walk. If they just like, oh, okay, let me go. No, if they like, oh, I don't want to go, that's not good. You can't do that. Um, this way you can also assure that the dog works up an appetite after, before eating. Similar, you know, similarly, uh, similar, um, when you make sure that the dog eats last, it is emphasizing the dog presents Dog's position is omega animal in the pack, but submissive 
dogs will be sure less likely to steal food from the dominant one. This only when your dog thinks he has a chance, I mean, she has, he or she doesn't matter, has a chance of becoming dominant, that the dog will start to beg for food and assert the dog's new position. So your dog thinks that the dog is the leader. If you do what I say, your dog will know it's right place. You're letting the dog believe that, but it's not true. If your dog has mastered to sit and stay commands, you can also give him those commands while he is begging. If you can maintain those commands while you eat, you can you can reward the dog with his behavior at the end of the at the end of the meal. It will reinforce the idea of you know being quiet during meal times is be. You know, meal times is behavior that can be rewarded. This is especially a good way to work, you know, with puppies, and, with puppies that emphasize the training, to, you know, and give, give, um, you give them, you give, you give them, uh, you, you give them. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. When you are working with dogs, make sure there are no, there, there are, there's no one is actually giving dog table scraps or treats. This may be difficult, but if you have if you have guests or if your children feel sorry for the dog, but be firm. It is important to make sh make make sure that your training is consistent. A, a lot of good training can be undone if your dogs receive extra food. No matter who who is giving uh, the. Uh, no matter who's giving it to the dog, your dog does not understand ex uh, you know exceptions. All the dog knows is that the dog will get scraps no matter what. Emphasize to your family and your friends that feeding your dog table scraps when the dog begs quite a uh, determined determinacy to, to the dog. Begging for food is an unattractive behavior that will lead for the behavioral of health issues. If you see the behavior in the dog, take steps and stop it at once. You have to understand you cannot spoil your dogs. As much as you want to, you cannot. I really hope this information helped you today. I really hope it did. So, while you guys are marinating on that, I hope you guys have a great day and try to try to control your dogs. I know what I'm talking about. And if you just follow my advice, trust me. Trust me. It will work. I've tried it with my dog and she has not been begging. She knows when it's time to eat and she knows that who is the alpha alpha in the group. Thank you for in, listening in and listening to my 13-minute lecture. I'm TT Loves You So Much, and you guys have a great evening.